President Trump makes a rare appearance at a sporting event tonight, traveling to Georgia, where he attended the NCAA championship football game this evening. His visit coming just hours after the president traveled to Nashville, Tennessee, where he delivered a wide-ranging address to the nation's farmers. Mola Lange reports. President Trump traveled to Atlanta, Georgia late Monday to attend the college football championship game between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Georgia Bulldogs. The visit came amid the president's ongoing feud with NFL players who refused to stand for the national anthem. There's plenty of space for people to express their views and to protest, but we love our flag, we love our anthem. And we want to keep it that way. Mr. Trump addressed the controversy during a speech before thousands of farmers earlier in the day and highlighted aspects of the GOP tax bill that will benefit them. You're going to be spared, and it really is the word punishment, of the deeply unfair estate tax known as the death tax so you can keep your farms in the family. While in Nashville, the president also signed an executive order aimed at expanding broadband to rural areas. So you can compete on a level playing field, which you were not able to do. Not fair. President Trump spent the weekend defending his fitness for office following the publication of Michael Wolff's explosive new book, Fire and Fury. I consider it a work of fiction. The publisher of Wolff's book says they have no intention of honoring a cease and desist order from President Trump's lawyer. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. And tomorrow, the president will meet with a bipartisan group of senators to begin discussions about immigration reform.